A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Thursday, February 22nd. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The Orange County Legislature Committee charged with investigating the awarding of an information technology contract to the Star CIO company found no criminality or wrongdoing in the selection of the company. What it did find was often sloppy or incomplete paperwork in the contract selection process. The committee chaired by legislator Kevin Hines presented their report on Wednesday. It should be emphasized that this committee found no evidence of fraud, corruption, or criminality relative to the procurement of the Star CIO contract. And really what we mean there is improper procurement is not a crime. It's a, it's a mistake. The report concluded there was no sweetheart deal, as alleged by State Senator James Scoofus and four fellow Democratic County legislators. The Human Resources Commissioner Langdon Chapman had anything to do with awarding the IT contract to Star CIO, owned by his brother-in-law, Isaac Sikoluk. The special committee found that Chapman had nothing to do with the award. Meanwhile, Scoofa said he's pleased that the legislature's central finding confirmed what has been obvious from the start. The Star CIO contract was not properly procured. Ulster County Executive Jen Metzger spoke at the Ulster County Regional Chamber of Commerce monthly session yesterday, and she talked about accomplishments such as mental health advocacy and affordable housing during the first year of her administration. Staffing shortages can be aligned with unaffordable housing, and Metzger said it's important to balance both for the county's economy. Last year, she proposed to leverage the budget surplus for a $15 million fund for affordable housing. The plan is to make funding available for a wide variety of projects, including affordable rental projects, affordable homeownership projects, emergency and supportive housing, housing related infrastructure, and more. Last year, the county started a mental health program to help provide clinical services to county middle school students. The county also received over $34 million in American Rescue Plan funding, and Metzger says $11 million has been dedicated to improving local water and sewer service. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The Ulster County Democratic Committee has endorsed its slate of candidates for the fall general election, and they include incumbent State Assemblywoman Sarah Hannah Shretha, a Democrat from Esopus for re-election, Gabby Madden, who recently announced her challenge to the first-term lawmaker, said she would take her candidacy directly to Democratic voters on the June 25th primary. This is just the beginning of our campaign, she said. The political committee also endorsed Michelle Hinchy of Saugerties and Jonathan Jacobson of Newburgh for re-election. The party also endorsed Michelle Frazier in her bid to one-seat Republican Pete Overrocker. The Ulster County Democratic Committee also backed Kerry Savana for County Family Court Judge Josh Riley for Congress in the 19th District and incumbent Pat Ryan for the 18th Congressional District seat. Sullivan County District Attorney Brian Connedy has hired a crime analyst pursuant to the High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area designation from the Federal Office of National Drug Control Policy. The DA did not name the individual hired for the post in January. The individual will be headquartered in the Hudson Valley Crime Analyst Center, housed at the Orange County Emergency Services Center in Goshen and will work under the auspices of the Sullivan County District Attorney's Office. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.